fall out here within the last 10 minutes. This was a little bit unexpected for us, and we have just seen some of those kids being picked up by their parents finally at Liberty Middle School. We'll give you a look here. This is why. This is Route 10, Mount Pleasant Avenue. This road was closed last night, so they kept everyone inside this school. Certainly desperate times kept for uh, made for some desperate measures. About 100 kids inside, 25 teachers holding down the fort overnight. The Liberty staff had been tweeting about their odyssey overnight. They watched movies. Frozen was playing in the auditorium. They played Pictionary, shot hoops, ate ice cream, and they slept on gym mats to try and get a few hours of sleep. The district has also been sending updates to parents throughout the night. S several schools in West Orange did the same exact thing as here in Liberty, but the whole saga started when buses were unable to navigate the snowy roads and were told to shelter in place yesterday afternoon. One student told me that her friend was stuck on the bus for several hours, so right now the district is working with the DOD to make sure the roads are clear enough and safe enough to drive on before they board those buses again and go home. But for some parents, uh, they did not want to wait for that to happen, as you might imagine. The ones we talked to uh, were felt uh, leave, were left with some high anxiety, knowing that their kids were sleeping over at school overnight and they didn't have them. Some were able to make it and navigate the roads to come pick up their kids. Others were just unable to do so. And we have, in the last few minutes, seen some of them being picked up this morning. Uh, but they were going to board the buses around five, six o'clock this morning. But with this new snow squall that we've seen this morning, that might be delayed as well. So the kids could be spending a little bit extra time here in school which, by the way, are closed today after everyone finally goes home.